Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Nick Kovacevic, CEO at Kushko Holdings, and Stephen Christofferson, CFO. Great to have you both. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for having us. Doing well, thanks. Today we are talking about the agreement that you formed with United Pacific. Stephen, I'm going to start off this question with you. You know, you formed this agreement to help distribute your CBD products. Can you maybe describe who they are and what kind of reach you hope to gain with this partnership? Sure. So United Pacific, um, it's actually a subsidiary of United Oil. Um, they have about 350 convenience stores uh, throughout the West Coast. Um, so for us, this is a big opportunity to um, get the brands that we represent, uh, get them shelf space at these various locations. And I think it's I think it's indicative of the overall CBD market when you see uh, convenience stores like this opening up um, opening up distribution. So for us, it's a really exciting opportunity. Uh, we're going to be representing uh, seven brands and 53 SKUs across 350 stores. And you'll be setting up these wellness centers. You're calling them. Can you describe kind of what that looks like? Sure. So it's they're little kiosks. So we're actually going to be having our own displays. Um, and so there's three different sizes depending on the store type. Um, so for a larger store, you might have a larger display. For some smaller convenience stores, you might have something just sits right on the countertop. But um, but yeah, so there's a couple different uh, sizes depending on the, the type of location. And Nick, turning to you, Stephen mentioned some of the clients' products that you'll feature. Wh specifically, which clients? Uh, well, we list them in our in our press release. Uh, we have, um, you know, Social is a very popular brand. Uh, Pure Canna, Be Great. Um, so there's there's seven brands as as Stephen mentioned. Um, these are well known brands. We work with them uh, to help with placements like this. This is a phenomenal success uh, for for all all the parties involved. Um, reason being, it's been tough for CBD uh, this last year and a half. Uh, there's not been a lot of retail placements. Brands are really looking for exposure like this to be able to get into uh, mainstream retail uh, in a large scale rollout. And with COVID, uh, that was really delayed even further uh, as folks were more interested in, in bringing in hand sanitizers and, and, and toilet papers uh, than they were in CBD products. And we're thrilled to, despite this climate, be able to land such a large placement for these brands. Um, and we're proud that they're going to be showcased at, at 350 plus doors here in the very near future. And now is the spotlight solely on Kushko's brands or are there others as well in the mix? Uh, there are two legacy brands uh, that were grandfathered in, but the vast majority of the shelf uh, will be represented by brands that Kushko is in contract with. So this is a huge deal for you. What kind of exposure are you hoping to get with this partnership? And can you maybe translate this into revenue dollars? Uh, well, this uh, business line for us is is unique in the sense that we're driving a fee uh, for the work that we do. So 100% of the product that these brands sell through this channel, uh, we will get a cut uh, of the proceeds and that just comes as straight gross margin dollars. So from a revenue standpoint, um, it's not going to be uh, our largest segment by any matter of means, um, but all of the dollars coming in are going to be very uh, solid in terms of their contribution to the bottom line. Um, so this will be a profitable division for us. We do expect these revenues to grow um, as we see more velocity uh, throughput at the point of sale retail level. So in terms of, of timing, Stephen, when do you expect to launch the wellness centers? Yeah, um, great question. So uh, products are going to be hitting the shelves in December. Right in time for Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Make sure to pick, pick some up. <laughs> Uh, separately and, and kind of along these lines, uh, Jeffries um, initiated a buy on the stock with a price target of a dollar and fifty-two cents. So, uh, Nick, what what do you kind of need to do to reach this goal? Well, uh, I think we need to execute. Right, it all comes down to execution. We're seeing that uh, with our core business. Uh, I think why Jeffries was so excited is because people weren't expecting execution on this segment, just given how tough it is for the CBD industry right now. Um, we are more focused on selling our products to THC clients, which is going phenomenally well. Um, and then to see us now add uh, some traction in this business segment, I think it gives a, a lot of people a lot of excitement around the future of our company. And uh, you know, a buy rating, $1.50 price target, we think is, is well within reason, 
as long as we continue to deliver. And we know uh, that you know, for virtually all the analysts that cover us um, outside of, I believe, one, um, they all have a buy rating on the stock. Our stock has been depressed this last year um, due, due to some things that were in our control and also a lot of things that were outside of our control. Um, and now as people are starting to see us have worked through those challenges this last year and the numbers are showing up in, in a very positive way, um, we're starting to get more and more sentiment behind us that is very positive. And uh, it speaks to uh, if we're able to continue to execute, hopefully uh, a stock price that moves dramatically up and to the right. Yeah, looking to see how this partnership plays out. Steven, Nick, thanks so much.